Imagine a railway project stretching across the vast Australian landscape, connecting cities and revolutionizing transportation. Imagine that this incredible $125 billion railway is more than just tracks and trains. Thanks to advanced engineering, Australia is building the biggest rail infrastructure in its history, the Suburban Rail Loop. This colossal 90-kilometer loop around Melbourne will integrate all major rail lines, making it comparable to the London Underground Network. Completion is set for the 2050s, but partial operations start in 2035. Behind the mammoth price tag are world-class stations, swift journeys, and economic benefits for generations. In this video, we'll explore why Australia is betting big on this railway empire, and how engineers are making the impossible vision a reality. There's a lot more than meets the eye in this mega project. So let's jump aboard and discover the hidden wonders shaping the future of Australia's transit. Melbourne is facing an alarming crisis of extreme population growth. Currently, over 5 million people live in the city, making it Australia's most populated. This figure is projected to exceed a staggering 9 million residents by 2050 as urban expansion continues. Melbourne is already the most car-dependent major city in the world, with around 50% of commuters traveling to work by private vehicles. Only 5% use public transportation, even though the metro area has an extensive rail, tram, and bus network. This auto-centric design leads to massive traffic congestion, especially during peak hours when commuters funnel into the central business district for work. Roads from western suburbs routinely get jammed as people make their way into downtown areas. Melburnians, on average, spend 79 hours stuck in traffic per year. Even public transit gets bogged down. Train journeys from the outer suburbs to the inner city take 25. 45 minutes presently. As more people move to peripheral areas, this strains the existing rail infrastructure, leading to painfully crowded commutes during rush hour. The costs of worsening congestion and inadequate transport are severe. Lost productivity and delays for commuters and businesses are estimated to cost the economy $39.8 billion annually by 2031 if left unaddressed. Richmond to Flinders Street takes around 20 minutes by car, but train trips can exceed 45 minutes when overloaded. Sprawling outer suburbs are also a headache. Car-centric development there exacerbates urban sprawl and carbon emissions from vehicles. Shockingly, traffic pollution generates 10 times more premature deaths in Melbourne than road accidents. Over 1,100 adults are hospitalized annually from emissions. Clearly, leaving Melbourne's growth unchecked risks economic, social, and environmental crises. With the metro area population exploding in the coming decades, a world-class public transit network is absolutely critical to avoiding total gridlock. Melbourne's existing public transportation lags far behind peer global cities. The London Underground, Paris Metro, and Hong Kong MTR are models of efficient urban mobility. But Melbourne's patchy rail and tram network pales in comparison. Connections between lines are limited, and suburban reach is sparse. Operating on 19th century infrastructure, trains are slow, frequencies are low, and breakdowns occur regularly. Without a metro scale overhaul, congestion will paralyze the city. That's where the $125 billion suburban rail loop comes in, an epic engineering endeavor to completely transform Melbourne's rail network. The 90 kilometer orbital link between major lines will revolutionize connectivity and accessibility. Stage one is SRL East, a 30 to $50 billion segment from Cheltenham to Box Hill including 26 kilometers of new twin tunnels and six spectacular underground stations, SRL East will slash travel times across Melbourne Southeast. The trip duration from Cheltenham to Box Hill drops to only 22 minutes. The Crown Jewel Station is the $11 billion Clayton Superhub, allowing seamless transfers between four lines to become Victoria's largest interchange. 
Cross-platform transfers enabled by advanced signaling minimize waiting times between trains. Other stations, like Monish and Glen Waverly, provide direct connections to education and health precincts. And interchanges offer easy transfers to hospitals, shopping centers, and universities. The Metro Tunnel through the CBD will also open in 2025. Together, the Metro Tunnel and Suburban Rail Loop will completely transform mobility in Melbourne. Trips that take 45 plus minutes will drop to around 15 minutes across the network. This engineering revolution promises to curb congestion and emissions while rocketing Melbourne to the forefront of global transit. Advanced technology has played a pivotal role in shaping the design for the Metro Tunnel and Suburban Rail Loop. Cutting-edge engineering capabilities allow this mega-project to truly transform mobility in Melbourne. A key focus has been integrating digital systems to enable seamless journeys. For example, the Showstopper Clayton Station Hub leverages optimized signaling technology. This allows cross-platform transfers between four intersecting rail lines by minimizing waiting times between trains. Clayton will become Victoria's busiest interchange by 2050, handling nearly 1 million daily transfers, comparable to Australia's busiest airport. The flexibility enabled by smart signal coordination is essential to moving this vast volume of passengers smoothly. Dynamic timetabling adapts train frequency and spacing based on real-time passenger loads. This prevents undercrowding or overcrowding while maximizing efficiency. Integrated control systems give operators an enhanced ability to respond to disruptions. Accessibility is also improved through technology-aided design. Stations utilize high-quality wayfinding and visual information. Modern interfaces allow for better journey planning and navigation. Facilities are designed to optimize accessibility for all users. Sustainability has been enhanced as well. Stations incorporate daylight, natural ventilation, and green spaces to reduce energy demands. Solar panels and regenerative braking systems feed renewable power to the grid. Even construction leverages advanced techniques like precast fabrication and rail laying machines to speed up work. And rigorous digital modeling minimizes material waste and environmental impacts. Together, these technologies enable the Metro Tunnel and Suburban Rail Loop to achieve impressive scale without compromising efficiency, sustainability, or user experience. Cutting-edge engineering creates a next-generation rail network, expanding how Melburnians live, work, and travel. The $125 billion price tag of the Suburban Rail Loop represents an investment on par with monumental projects like the Snowy Mountains Hydro Scheme. But the economic and social benefits make this visionary rail loop well worth the cost. By reshaping mobility across Melbourne, the rail network is projected to generate 550,000 jobs by 2050. The construction of the tunnels and stations alone will support thousands of jobs for decades. The stations can also catalyze dozens of vibrant transit-oriented development precincts with housing, shops, and offices. Relieving road congestion is a major win, too. The rail loop will eliminate up to 600,000 car trips daily by enticing commuters onto trains. Less traffic reduces pollution while cutting commuting expenses for drivers. Health benefits are enormous as emissions decline. Access to jobs, education, and services also improves with the suburban rail loop. Linking suburbs, employment hubs, and major amenities makes Melbourne more equitable and connected. Journeys under 20 minutes connect people to far more opportunities. The $60 billion in economic, social, and environmental benefits delivered by SRL East highlight the immense potential of the broader project. With faster and more reliable transit between suburbs and the CBD, business productivity and growth receive a boost. Ultimately, this mega rail project presents a genuine once in a generation chance to uplift Melbourne's future. The benefits span generations and position the city for continued prosperity. Executing an infrastructure vision as bold as the suburban rail loop demands world-class engineering expertise. Luckily, a team of talented engineers leads the project's delivery. Rail Projects Victoria coordinates the historic metro and rail transformation. Delivering a rail network spanning decades requires diligent long-term planning.
construction is staged into phases, allowing more achievable funding allocations. The alignment runs predominantly underground to limit land acquisition impacts. Advanced tunnel boring machines speed up subterranean work. Cutting edge equipment builds 26 kilometer twin tunnels rapidly and accurately. Stringent environmental regulations guide construction as well to minimize disruption. Sustainability is also integral to station design. Green building principles promote natural light, ventilation, and greenery to reduce energy consumption. Regenerative braking and solar power supplement grid electricity. Since beginning preparatory work in 2018, engineers have been pushing boundaries in design and construction to deliver this metro scale project. Virtual reality aids critical planning decisions for optimal outcomes. Strict community engagement practices keep residents informed and involved in the process. Highly detailed traffic management schemes maintain accessibility and safety. The focus is on minimizing disruptions, despite the huge scale. With preparatory work now ramping up significantly, Australia's greatest ever rail infrastructure endeavor is shifting into high gear. Driven by engineering excellence, this mega project aims to not just meet mobility needs, but also shape Melbourne's destiny for centuries onward. The suburban rail loop stands as one of the most audacious and brilliant mega projects in Australia's history. Driven by astute engineering and visionary design, it promises a quantum leap in connectivity and accessibility. The scale and complexity boggle the mind. But this $125 billion railway masterpiece is the bold action needed to meet Melbourne's growth crisis head on. While completion spans decades, early stages will already revolutionize mobility across the metro area. This is a once-in-a-lifetime undertaking that rewrites the infrastructure playbook. Thanks to the expertise and imagination of engineers, the impossible is becoming a reality. So next time you're stuck in traffic, take heart. Australia's mega rail renaissance is just getting started. What mega infrastructure projects impress you most? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our video on Indonesia's own $7 billion high-speed rail transforming transportation in Southeast Asia. The engineering feats are just as mind-blowing.